All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushah, Bahashem Kabadash. They were honest to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, they were well. And a salute and a shalom to all the Akim that are, that are out here laboring and pushing this truth. No sincerity and in truth. All right. Um, this is uh, the brother of the Ark, uh, Yashar Amoth from the GMS Missouri camp. All right. And uh, I'm going to do a quick, a quick response to the elder, uh, the brother uh, uh, in uh, Dallas, uh, Yashawamba, right? And uh, he's going to play what this mad ass woman has to uh, say, right? Now, listen to what this woman says. Let's get it. Let's listen to a little bit of this. Then we'll get back to those scriptures. Address this feminine or this feministic uh, issue. Every time a female comes along with a backbone and has the knowledge of the scripture, she's a feminist. She's she's manly. She's this and that. No, she's appointed by the most high. According to the most high, I'm appointed. You understand that? Numbers 12 and 6. Right, she said numbers 12 and 6, right? Hold on, let's get it. Hold on, let's go back. <laughs> Hold on, man. She's manly. She's this and that. No, she's appointed by the Most High. According to the Most High, I'm appointed. You understand that? Numbers 12 and 6. In the book of Amos. She said Numbers 12 and 6. All right. Now, the way she looks, she looks like this uh, rapper, this female rapper named... Uh, Named, uh, 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 named, uh, DeBrat, right? From, Ch from Chicago, right? <laughs> she said, <laughs> Hold on, man. <coughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> Hold on, man. I can't. <laughs> this woman said, Numbers 12 and 6, man. Really? Numbers twelve and six. Hmm. Let's let's see real quick. Numbers twelve and six. All right. Right, and I had to watch, and I had to, I had to replay that like six times, just to make sure she didn't say. What what I thought she said, right? Let's get it. All right, now Numbers twelve and six. This is what it says. Now, in now the book of Numbers, the twelfth chapter. What happened to Mary? I'm sorry, sorry, not Mary, but what happened to Miriam? We gonna get it. All right, Numbers twelve and six. It says, and he said, "Hear now my words." If there be a prophet, right, says a prophet, right, among you, I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him. Right? So she's saying that Numbers 12 and 6 applies to women also. Well, Evidently, it doesn't because it says, kind of says, and he said, hear now my words, if there be a prophet, a prophet, not a prophetess, a prophet among you, I, Yahweh, <clears throat> all right, it says, I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him, right? It says him. It don't say her. It says him. Right? It says, in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. Right? <clears throat> now, Miriam, 
she spoke against Moses, right? Why? Because she, because a the feminist spirit came upon Miriam, right? She thought she was on the same level as Moses. And this is what happened. Let's get it. It says, uh, verse 7, My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark sayings, slack yet, and not in dark speeches, and, and in the similitude of Yahweh shall he be hold, right? <clears throat> Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses, right? Says, um, God says, and the anger of Yahweh was kindled against them and departed, right? So Yahweh was mad at, at Miriam and at Aaron, right? Now, he didn't do anything. Now, 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 Yahweh, he didn't do anything to, to, uh, to, to uh, uh to uh, uh uh Aaron, but he judged Miriam with what? And here it is. It says, and the cloud departed off the off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. <clears throat> And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not this sin upon us. Kind of says, lay, kind of says, lay not the sin upon us, where, and we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Right. So apparently, the woman that 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 uh, that quoted Numbers twelve and six, evidently she didn't read it. Or she, or she, or she, never uh, read it, right? Because it says a prophet, right? It says, and Yahweh will make his, right? And it says, and Yahweh will make himself known unto him, not unto her, unto him. Okay, period, man. So. Miriam was judged with what? With leprosy, man. With with leprosy. For what? For speaking against Moses, man. For stepping out of for stepping for stepping out of line, man. She overstood her boundaries, man. And Yahweh put her back in her place. Now, I'm going to get one more scripture, man. Hold on, let's, hold on real quick. Hold on. Uh, hold on, is it, it might be Proverbs. Proverbs 9. All right, come on, Proverbs 9 and 13. Now I'm going to get another one. And that's the last one. It says, excuse me. It's like it says, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing, right? Now, this woman in this video, she is clamorous. She is foolish. She don't know nothing. Okay? She don't know nothing, man. Okay? Now, women, 
Now, women, they can teach other women, right? And they can also teach who? The children. But they cannot teach no man. Right? Now, and I don't give a damn how much knowledge a so-called woman has in the scriptures. You still can't teach, damn it. You still can't teach men, right? You still can't, can't go to camp and teach, right? Because women do have a menstrual cycle, right? And when they are on their menstrual cycle, they can't go to camp. They can't do nothing. They have to what? They have to stay home. Why? Because they are unclean. Okay? You women, man. God damn, man. You, man, you all just don't get it, man. You women just don't get it. You just don't get it. All right. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach. And the head of every, so like, so like it says, it says, but I will have you know that the head of every man is, is Mashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of a Mashiach is Yahweh. That's the order. Okay? That's the order, man. Right? It's Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the man, and the woman, and the child, or the children. Okay? The man is the head. That's just what it is. If you don't like it, I don't give a damn. Okay? So she quoted Numbers 12 and 6. So that got cut right there, though. All right? All right. All right. Um, I already cut that one. Let's get this. Isaiah. I believe it's Isaiah 13. No. It's like it. Isaiah 3. Isaiah 3 and 12. It says, as for my people, children are, are their oppressors, right? Now it says children are their oppressors, right? Who is the now who's the now who is the, the children that's oppressing us the Edomites they are oppressing us so they are the children right it says and women rule over them O my people they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. So, woman, I don't give a, I don't, so woman, I don't give a goddamn how you feel. Right? The scriptures say what they say. Right? You are supposed to what? Learn in silence and shut the fuck up. That's what you're supposed to do. Alright? Period, man. Stop trying to overstep your boundaries. Because you will get put in your place. Okay? We don't have time 
for your for your feminist attitude. We don't we ain't got time for that. No. Right? So you can leave that in the world where it belongs. It belongs in the world. So leave it there. Don't bring that into the truth, man. Okay? Because these scriptures are about what? The customs of the East. Okay? The ancient customs of the East. Okay? You cannot bring that that Western uh, uh, a philosophy, that Western uh, uh, custom over here. You can't do that. It ain't gonna work. So leave it alone. Okay, all right? So get mad all you want. I don't give a damn. It says what? Let the woman learn in silence, right? Well then, woman learn in silence. Shut up. Keep your mouth shut. There's nothing important that you have to say. So with that, I say Shalom.